when you will worship the Father neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You may be seated for a few minutes, but listen to these words again. Jesus is teaching to a woman, Believe me, a time is coming when you will worship the Father neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You Samaritans worship what you don't know. We worship what we do know. For salvation is from the Jews. Yet a time is coming and has now come when the true worshippers will worship the Father. When the true worshippers will worship the Father in the spirit and in truth. In the spirit and in truth. For they are the kind of worshippers the Father seeks. Jesus is teaching to this woman and to us that the Father is seeking uh, worshippers. The worshippers that what kind of worshippers he is seeking the worshippers who worships the Father in spirit and in truth. Have you ever thought about that? In spirit and in truth, that's the kind of worship that the Father is seeking. God is spirit and his worshippers must worship. Must worship in the spirit and in truth. Church, worship is a lifestyle. The way we live is worship to God. So when, we, when it comes to worship, it is wonderful to sing God, sing songs to praise God, acknowledging the Lord and what you have done for us. Uh, you've done everything good for us, for your salvation. It's amazing. It is great. But remember, that's a part of worship. What the Father is seeking for the people who, are, who will worship Him in spirit and in truth, and it's a lifestyle. That's the kind of spirit, that's the kind of worship that the Father is uh, looking at. And then we do worship Him now here on earth, but then after we are uh, completed our life on the earth here, and we will be worshiping Him forever and ever and ever in heaven also. That's the preparation. Every, every eye closed, every head bow, every heart examined. Father, to worship you in truth and in spirit, in spirit and in truth. It's not possible on our own. Jesus said, I'm the truth and the life. Jesus said, I will send you a comforter and the spirit of the Holy Spirit so that he can guide you. Without the Holy Spirit, without the truth, who is Jesus, uh, we may sing songs, we may sound good, but that's, that's songs. The Lord bless you, and the Lord continue to bless you as you worship Him in, in truth and in, 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 in spirit and in truth. Father, we pray this morning as we come to you, and we acknowledge your love, your grace, and your mercy, and what you have done for us. Lord, you know our weaknesses, our strengths, because you created us. Lord, we come to you. We pray and we ask you that we will continue to worship you in spirit and in truth. Lord, we thank you for being awesome in our lives, Lord. There are so many times we go through difficult difficulties and we forget that how awesome you are for us. Lord, I pray that we don't uh, depend upon our circumstances, but we do depend upon your truth and depend in your spirit to worship you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. We have some people in our congregation